magic school bus. Are we still in the desert? Wow, what happened? The sun went down and the desert has totally changed. Oh, Carlos, look! How sweet. 11, 12, 13, 14. Hey, we weren't too late. The reason we didn't see any animals is because they were just waiting for the sun to go down. 50 degrees Fahrenheit. You don't have any sweaters in that knapsack, do you, Arnold? Once the sun goes down, the air cools off. Field trip tip number 257. To beat the heat, do like most desert animals. Come out only at night. There you have it, Phoebe. Another way desert animals help themselves. It's okay, Phoebe. There's nothing wrong with being wrong. As I always say, make mistakes, make mistakes, make mistakes. It's the best way to learn something. But let's face it, Students Against Desert Scarcity is a bust. Okay, Carlos, okay. You don't have to rub it in. I might have made a mistake about that lizard. And I might have made a mistake about that jackrabbit. And I even might have made a mistake about the tortoise. But there's one thing I know I'm not wrong about. How much you wish you'd stayed home today? No, how much everything in the desert needs water. You're telling me. <laughs> Thanks, Rafi. Phoebe! Well, if no one's going to help me give water to all these poor little animals, I'll just do it myself. Phoebe, where are you going? I said I was going to give these poor animals water, and I'm going to do Phoebe, I know this may sound crazy, but hear me out. Okay, Carlos, I'm listening. These animals didn't need your protection from being eaten or from burning up in the sun, right? Right. They can cope, right? Right. Well, maybe they don't need your water either. Carlos, how can you say that? You know there's no water in the desert. You said so yourself. Rain shatter, remember? But look at them. They couldn't live without water, and they are definitely alive. They must get it somehow. Okay, then. If you're so smart, tell me how. Come on, Carlos. Take chances. Get messy. Make mistakes. I... I don't know. Exactly. Maybe people like me come out here and give these animals water. Maybe people like me keep these animals alive. Hey, at least save the water for the animals. What are you talking about? Didn't you just splash me? Is that rain? <laughs> Everyone back on the bus. Rain? In the desert? It doesn't rain here very often, class, but... As I always say, not very often is a long way from never. And the desert is a long way from needing my water. And we're a long way from the bus. Come on, Phoebe. Doesn't it feel great? Now we're talking water. It's amazing. We went from absolutely no water to... here before she turns us all into vampires. Wonder what this does. Nice one, Ralphie. You turn the bus into a bat. And this is turning into a field trip. I don't know, it's too dark to tell. <laughs> is it just me, or does everything look really weird? Well, what do you expect? The bus is a bat, remember? What if we crash into something? Phew, that was close. Look out! Look out! Bats! Bats everywhere! And they're making so much noise. I 
didn't hear that before the bus turned into a bat. Awesome. How does the bus keep from running into stuff? It must be because it's a bat. That's how. The bat bus knows how to get around in the dark, like them. But how? I think it's got something to do with that pinging sound. I don't know about you guys, but that pinging is killing my ears. <sighs> I can tell you this. Every time the bat opens its mouth, I hear a ping. Yeah, and then its ears wiggle. I think it's listening to the echo of each ping. I hope the bat bus is listening now, or we're gonna crash. Wow, that's it! When the sounds echo back, the bat bus knows something's there and doesn't bump into it. That must be what the bats are doing. When they make that funny sound. They're using echoes to locate things. Echoes to locate? Echolocation. Bats don't need to see with their eyes. They can see with their ears. Weird, but cool. Bats use sound to get around. Ma, stand ahead! Oh no, don't tell me that the bus is hungry. Ick! At least we know how bats grab a bite to eat. It's a good time for bats to eat, because they're experts at finding food in the dark. Not because they like to scare people, Ralphie. Yeah? Well, we don't have time for midnight snacks. We have to get back to the castle. Come on, Ralphie, admit it. Bats are cool. And if you were a night animal, you'd want to be one. I would not. Or would I? A bat could fly back to the castle in the dark, find a way inside, and save his parents from Count Frizzula. Ralphie, what are you doing? Bringing this thing back to the castle! <gasps> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> yep, Ralphie, you sure know how to wing it. This wasn't exactly what I had in mind. Where are Dia and Carlos? Do you think they got lost? We probably shouldn't have split up. Well, I can't wait any longer. Arnold, where are you going? To find food. I'm with him. I'm starving. But if we leave, how are Dia and Carlos going to find us? Mm. As my cousin Peregrine always says, never underestimate the ability of a falcon to see what it's looking for. No way a bus that looks like a bear could get across the street without being seen. What was that? What's going on down there? It looks like a bear. A bear? We've got to call the police. Or the zoo. The bus must have found something to eat down there. He's not just a pretty hood, you know. Come on! the elite meat to eat. It smells good to me. Mm. Jump in, guys. There's plenty for everyone. Mm -hmm. I've heard of junk food, but this is fantastic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you're the kind of animal like a possum or a raccoon that can mm, mm, eat many different kinds of food, there's lots of choices in the city. Food, good places to hide. I'm beginning to think that maybe wild animals can survive in the city. Well, maybe it's possible for raccoons and possums and rats, but not for bears. Where's it going to hide? It was definitely here. Mm, a fox's nose mm, knows. You're right! But it probably got scared when it heard those people. It must have gone that away. Come on! 
feel better now. What about you? We'd better get back to the others. Hey, I wonder where he's going. Uh, oh, no! Oh, yes! I'm not surprised those guys are here. It's a safe place to roost, and there's food. Well, we'll be moving in ourselves if we don't find the bus. 